So, yeah. Saz. Man. I thought they'd really done it. But they hadn't done it. No, that was a joke. I did not think that. Nobody thought that. You die. You maybe somebody thought angry? that. Yeah, I thought maybe they'd run. There's been enough uh, blood spilled. Did anyone? You thought they'd some, run. Maybe, maybe somebody somewhere memory. thought that. Those soldiers think they're protecting cocoon. Lobotomies things. have happened to people, and maybe you, pl you can play this game after uh, after lobotomy. I have had it. We cannot let this go on. Attention, all crew. Code green. Repeat. Code green. Code Security forces green. stand by. Hostile forces on board. Look, we've gone from red to green. This is progress. That's Oh, whatever. So, like, we we don't we don't have we don't have the ability to choose our party yet, do we? Nope. We need to gather everybody first. Oh, um, we got Lightning Hope and Fang, though. That's that's pretty good. That's a very good party. Not the best. Well, yeah, it actually probably is the best party. It's one of it's one of the top two at any rate. Yeah. There are some there are some people who can derive a large amount of enjoyment from overthinking your party lineup. So, all right. So uh, the Psycom Huntress. This is a bitch of an enemy. Oh, that's a lot of buffs. The first thing they will do at the start of the fight is cast Bravery, sh uh, Faith, Protect, and Haste. Is that Faith? I thought that's Shell. Oh, that's Shell, yeah. Sorry. But yeah, the very first thing they will do is immediately drop all of their buffs on themselves. And there will be encounters where there are multiple of these guys. So, that, that sounds like that sounds like fun. Yeah, you really want to focus on them immediately, because left alone, they will fuck your shit up. That sounds like you really should have had, like, Saboteur Fang out for that, because... Um, I, you say, there will be an encounter later where I, I, I do, but you say, for just one of them, it's pretty easy to just overwhelm them. Also, I notice we're now in the habit of cutting out fights in the middle. That's a, that's a victory. I'll take that. I don't know what those guys are doing back there, because there's absolutely nothing down that way. Maybe it's some kind of elaborate fake-out. The uh, Lifesaber is a comparatively useless weapon that just makes Rays heal a little bit more when should we use it. You know, as opposed to lining up Rays and then Cure and then Cure, which is a thing that medics can do. I'm thinking maybe those guys down the other way are really cunning self-aware minions, and they know if they stand in some place with zero point, they probably will die all the time. Man, it must have taken them quite a while to find somewhere in Final Fantasy XIII that had zero point. That was like, that there wasn't any treasure in or something. They pass it down through generations, or uh, however the minions breed. They're probably in tubes. Yeah. I guess technically nowhere in Final Fantasy XIII has any point, but let's not overthink this. Uh, okay, yeah, there's there's Fang dispelling everything. I am satisfied. Yeah, once you get down, um, at the very minimum, once you get down Protect and Shell, they go down real easy. Yeah, all your numbers get really high, and then all their numbers get really low. And then you can just fight off Fantasy 13 at them until they die. I never actually use debuffs or buffs in any RPG I play. I'm just too lazy to think about it, so I just hit people for a long time. Yeah, in most RPGs, they're pretty pointless. Like, 13 kind of distinguishes itself by making like, you know, your basic debuffs, like poison, actually really viable tactics. By the end of the game, you can be rolling with, like, three saboteurs, and it can be an amazingly effective party to just win an entire battle with and never change out of the three saboteur party. It's like, wow. Different. I mean, SMT has been doing it for decades now at this point, but SMT is a notably niche series, so... Yeah, people actually play Final Fantasy. 
Now, I'm, I'm not I'm not dissing on other JRPGs. I know better than that. But I still don't think that uh, Shinru SMT uh, cross Fire Emblem is ever actually going to happen. No? We haven't heard anything in like two years. They said they talked about it at E3. They said they they, they weren't going to show anything, but development was continuing as planned. Yeah, well, then again, isn't that also what they say about, oh, I don't know, The Last Guardian? Pikmin 3. Except Pikmin 3 came out. It did, but it took 10 years. I was waiting through so many E3s, waiting to see it. Oh, God. The anger. And it was inferior to 2, goddammit. I wouldn't know. I don't know. I've only played it because I got it for free for buying Mario Kart, so... And I haven't gotten that far in it. It's pretty awesome, but the, the uh, second class boss is... That was a moment. Oh, have to take your word for that. Like, you know how upset people get when they see all the ghosts of Pikmin? It's, it's, it's a really great moment when a boss kills everybody. Thanks. Huh. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Wii U games that I'm, like, I'm gonna play them someday, honest. I swear. Who would I play Steel Sim? Yeah. You, you can be bitter about uh, Super Mario 3D World. What the hell is there to be bitter about in 3D World? It wasn't a Galaxy game. It's not the successor that I wanted. Oh. Okay. That's how I feel about it too, but that's like... I don't even have words to describe this. It was pretty odd. It, it's a pretty fun game, but it just it just loses so much of everything that made the Galaxy games incredible. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the... That siren continues like 24-7 oh, yeah. here, and uh... Even through combat, so I have judiciously started cutting out as much of it as possible. You, you, you kind of drown it out after a while. It just gets like it just becomes part of the background noise of life. That's that final, they're not that Final Fantasy X siren. Oh god, the Final Fantasy X siren is amazing because it sounds like there's, it just sounds like a guy shouting an annoying cunt over and over and over again. You can't unhear it. An annoying con. An annoying con. Like, I don't think today anyone's even figured out what he's actually saying. Not least because it will be in our bed. What? You mean you can't do this that uh, cipher on the fly like that? Well, no. I mean, like you'd have to you'd have to figure out what he was saying, and the pronunciation is weird, and it's not a very good sound file. And no matter how hard you listen, it will always sound like an annoying gun. An annoying gun. <sighs> this is a pretty good weapon. Yes, this is a fantastic weapon, because the Pandoran Spear will make Fang's debuffs more likely to hit. And that is a good thing. Especially when one of your debuffs is slow. That saved Final Fantasy IV the after years for me. God, that game wouldn't end. Why would you play the After Years? The After Years is terrible. Attention because I love four. It's green, the only Final Fantasy I properly love. Six is great and all, and then I've got mixed feelings on the rest of them. Not nine. Nine's pretty fun. Yeah, I would, I would say you know, loving Final Fantasy four is another reason to not. It's like makes After Years even less of a good idea to play. I wanted to find out about the characters, and then I was just stuck in a hundred floor dungeon where I didn't know what was happening. Once you kill the Eidolon King and Queen, there should be that they were like guarding an entrance. That, that, that's like final boss shit, but it keeps on going. I, I found out what Omega Weapon was. It wasn't fun. Well, <laughs> uh. oh, Vanille just shot a thing, and for some reason a container... A, a creature that's basically just a glass container full of poison suddenly burst into flame. Yeah, Saz also got to sit sit back and just not give a fuck about anything, so... Yeah, that was a good scene. What? 
You'd rather die? I'm tempted to do it, Joey. She's a witch. That's got Come on, Saz, what do you know about I'd rather die? Scares me. Scares me so much. What? I think I might die Too right. soon. So, I've pushed myself to live even harder. God damn it, Saz is becoming a Final Fantasy 13 <laughs> character. Dodge, laughing at me talking this nonsense. Where does he keep his afro comb? <laughs> right now, <laughs> I'd do anything to see that smile. <laughs> Uh, Stay positive, right? It's okay. We we get the we get sauce theme back. Oh god, yes. It makes everything better. Careful. Thank you for that advice, Vanille. Also, what the hell was that animation of his just then? Well, I say animation, but it's one of his idle animations. He just he kind of crosses his arms and looks down a little bit. Uh, Flanitas are back. As well as their cousin, the Flanborg. Which is basically somebody just shoved a couple lightning rods into a flan. Hawk Mantos just won't die! Like, are, are these at least higher level Flanitas or something? No, they're the same Flanitas from before. Great. Well, at least they die quickly then. The uh, Flanborg is a little more dangerous. Uh, he hits a little bit harder. He uh, and he has an attack called Pacifying Shock, which does about 350, 400 damage in an area of effect. It's it's pretty dangerous, but uh, he is horrendously weak to water. So it's Wait, weak to water. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense. Did you miss the part where he has literal, like, electric nodes sticking out of his head? He's made of liquid. Ugh. You don't fight Hydra-Man by spraying with a hydrant, that's every other Spider-Man villain. Ugh. Video games, man. Also, we're just gonna press Vanille's shoulder to open this door. As you do. Hey, it's another one of the exact same thing we just fought. What? More complicated? He just wants to walk down a corridor. Why did I... Why did I include this fight? I... Yeah, yeah it, look, it looked like you realized your mistake halfway through. No, that's... Yeah, that's a bad frame fade. Okay, I'll have to figure out what the fuck happened there. Oh, whatever. I, I think... It, I think it's fitting for Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, what, what was that thing? Do we already have one of those? We might? I don't know. It's a royal armlet. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, you mean you don't just remember offhand every tiny bit of equipment and what it does? Uh, I don't know. No, it doesn't sound interesting. I think it's... I think it's also something. Eh, yeah, whatever. Unless it's Futurama, I won't be able to have that level of detail. These color codes don't make any sense at all, really. Could be wishful thinking. Although we all know it's Fang. And Fang is just the best. Yeah, good, uh, good luck with that, Vanille. Now you're talking. Let's go. Aren't they, at this point, basically both rushing to save each other? 